all right all right guys welcome back hey today we're gonna do some fun exciting boring stuff um, I have a 3070 Ti right here on my one rack it has three GPUs on this rack it's my first wood frame I built and this puppy has a virtual memory has the virtual memory burning about uh, 104 106 and I thought, let me just uh, order some thermal pads from GPU risers and some thermal paste. Strip that puppy apart. Right there it is. Clean it with some isopropyl alcohol, rubbing alcohol, whatever. Uh, and uh, let's see if this will actually get those temperatures down. Not my favorite card. I probably should have sold it when I got it uh, new and just flipped it, but I didn't. Uh, it's just been causing me problems. It throws GPU errors now and then. Running with T-Rex Miner. But I'm going to go ahead. Got the pads in from GPU risers the other day. And once you strip one of these puppies down, it's pretty easy to figure out how to do it again. It's just, it just takes time, right? And uh, it was worth giving it a shot. And we're going to go ahead and walk through this and speed up the uh, footage. <coughs> speed up the footage here I took it took it off there and we're gonna 2x his speed otherwise it'll bore you to death uh, basically you just got to find out which screws to pop off the back there's my GPU riser thermal uh, pads two millimeter three millimeter and there's the gunk the thermal paste use lots of that guys pro tip use lots of it just don't make a nice little coating like on a sandwich gob it on because it'll make a huge difference Here's the calipers I bought just to make sure, just to make sure that I uh, am using the right thickness on the thermal pads. Mostly it's two millimeter and three millimeter. The 3080 Ti's were nasty. They had a lot of thermal pads and it mostly used two, used up all my two in my old pack from Amazon and uh, uh, one, two and three millimeter. Got those from Amazon. This caliper thing is only a couple bucks. It's worth it. You can eyeball it too as well when you strip off the old thermal pads. But sometimes you squish them down, compact them, and they do not retain the original shape. And you may not even have to replace the thermal pads. But it's it's almost a good experiment to try it. Uh, if anything, the thermal paste on the actual GPU chip is what is important. And you'll see here when I take this puppy apart you'll see that there's not much thermal paste on it same with the 3080 Ti it was cooking hot I uh, took that apart and there was not much thermal paste on it so I gobbed it back on and I was good to go so let's rock baby I'm just trying to get situated here again trying to record this on a tripod see what I'm doing the room's not the best lit room that's why I have a headlamp and I don't know what the heck I'm doing here trying to find the right screw bit Phillips head mostly it's all Phillips so that makes it easier but you gotta have the right Phillips head to fit into those heads otherwise you're gonna strip them or you're not gonna get those things loose so highly exciting stuff guys highly exciting I don't know man doing YouTube videos on this stuff you run out of content ideas because once you're up in mining and things are stable you don't really do much uh, and basically, basically now it's maintenance and keeping the damn things clean so I'll strip them apart and clean out the gunk, the uh, hairballs and stuff like that. Uh, and even then it's not terrible. But this one was hot. I figure no guts, no glory. Let's go ahead, pop this back off, get to the get to the chip and the thermal pads, rip those off, clean the thing good, put it back together and see if it makes a difference. And as we watch this, I kind of disappeared. I don't know where I went. I'm doing a voiceover. It's just easier to do a voiceover. I'm back. So I'm just taking the screws out. Do not drop the screws. They're hard to find. And as we do it, I'm going to see what this thing is running at like a couple days later since I did it. Okay, again, it was running. It got to 106 at one point. I'm thinking, what is with these 3070 TIs that burn so hot? The 3080 TIs I replaced, I swapped. Actually, I did notice a difference. Cooler temperatures, not much. But not those incredibly high red temperatures you see when you run T-Rex Miner. Uh, yeah, so it does make a difference on a 3080 Ti. The test here was 
will it make a difference on this 3070 Ti, which is an expensive card, I know. I Again, I, I got an MSRP, but still, it's it's a pricey card. And it does give me 58 mega hash mining Ethereum, so I'm running an Asus RTX 3070 Ti. Again, 58.19 as looking at the screen right now on oh my T-Rex miner version 0.25.2. And I'm running at a temperature of uh, 54 degrees Celsius. And then the memory right now is showing 96 Celsius. Power is 179 watts usage. And I got the fan cranked 100% because fans are cheap. So if they blow, I don't care. I'll replace them. Uh, yeah, temperature's looking good. It's in the yellow right now. Like I said before, typically be before I did this, it was 104 and even 106. I'm going, this is ridiculous. Why are these things so hot? And I thought maybe bouncing between pools and stuff would make a difference. Nah, it's still hot. So this is why I'm doing it. It took an hour to do this. I don't know why. Um, just finding all the damn screws. This is the uh, the bracket to hold the... Uh, oh my God, help me. The heat sink to the uh, chip. So you pop that. You get that off and there you go. Bam, the thing just comes right apart. Sometimes you got to give it a little twisty to break the seal on some of those thermal pads. And the beauty of this 3070 Ti, there's not many, not like the 3080 Ti's, which have double the amount of thermal pads this 3070 Ti has. Again, the, the this GPU is not that dirty. I thought it'd be really dirty with hairballs, lint balls, stuff like that, but it wasn't. But I will go through, you'll see, I get the alcohol. I don't know where I went. There it is. I got the alcohol. That works fine. Got a lint-free rag which works better than tissue. You, know, you don't want tissue, you don't want to leave any residue or particles. Here I am checking the uh, thermal pad for thickness. And again, I probably know, I think that's a two right there. And the rest are three, three and two, I think is all I use. There was no one millimeter. And on the back heat sink there, you can see the gunk, the thermal paste, and on the chip, you can see the thermal paste. It was covered, but it wasn't a lot. I thought, oh, maybe this is the problem factory did not install enough thermal paste hence my high temps i don't know i'll try anything once i am still in learning mode and then when you do rip this puppy apart you have to break one of the little seals over the screws which pretty much nulls out your warranty i guess right all right there's my gpu riser thermal pads then there's some old amazon thermal pads i used as well just to see if they're all created equal and they pretty much are Oh, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just measuring, cutting. I'm just going to cut around them just to make sure I have the same size. The uh, sheets of GPU uh, thermal paste material I had, thermal pads, weren't exactly long enough on some, so you had to extend it. Just being a little anal retentive here, making sure I got the right thickness. But again, I know I probably didn't need to replace some of these because they were in good shape. And my main goal was to replace that thermal paste on that chip and gunk that puppy on there. Knowing that is what helped my 3080 Ti. I'm drinking bourbon while I do this. While I'm making this voiceover, not while I'm doing the chip. Uh, I gotta get some more bourbon. Anyway, this is highly exciting stuff. Hope I'm not boring you to death. If anything, get a headlamp. Like I got there, one of those awesome headlamps. It makes a huge difference. Shines a light on your work area and you're not squinting or, you know, blah, blah, blah. Missing stuff or missing dirt. And uh, there, I'm just putting them, putting the pads aside. No big deal. They peel right out. They're almost like putty in a way. And there's the gunk. This makes a mess. So just rub, 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 rub. Like there's no tomorrow. It comes right off with a lot of alcohol, uh, rubbing alcohol. And yeah, yeah, turn your rag over so you don't smear it everywhere or getting in the fins of the heat sink and you'll be good to go. Just keep going. Clean the puppy up good. I don't know when they build these things, if they're, if they're hand built. When they're assembled or they're uh, machine built, I have no idea. I'm sure it's all machine built where they where they splat on the the uh, thermal pads and the, the uh, thermal paste. They probably just blah, blah, blah. There, I'm getting the main chip cleaned up. Yeah, uh, uh, microfiber rags like that, lint-free rags are perfect for this. Just to get all that crap off. Because it'll get on your hands and everything and you might get it into the... the, the, the uh, Oh my God, the fins of the heat sink. You don't want that. Keep the board clean. All right, let's just watch this. Highly exciting. 
hardest part is knowing which damn screws to take off on the back when you first do it. And you got the four main big, bigger screws, Phillips screws. Then you got the teenier ones, which are, again, the bracket to hold the uh, heat sink to the chip. And then some surrounding ones. And you can tell looking at the GPU from the side where the screws are attached by the, uh, the uh, mounting holes and stuff like that. <clears throat> yeah, that's the hardest part. And just the nerve racking of doing it to a, you know, a thousand dollar plus card makes you a little like, oh, if I screw this up, I just broke an expensive piece of hardware. Take your time. And don't slam things down. Don't rip it apart either because there is a cable there you'll see holding the two pieces together yet. I did not want to detach it and risk breaking the connector, but just be careful. I'm wiping the outside down. Just get all the, sh all the, sh all the, all the shit off the outside. But you'll see later on, I become so anal retentive OCD. I will pop that GE force cover off and take those fans off and clean the fins and get, get the dust bunnies out. It doesn't make a difference. Trust me. I did it. I'm giving you fast forward. Uh, it didn't make much of a difference getting the dust bunnies out, but eh, when you're there, why not? You can blow the crap out with pre compressed air, but that, that stuff's going to go everywhere. Uh, so I just used a rag and some alcohol and just wiped, wiped the blades down with a little brush. You'll see it later on. All right, here's the thermal pads. Real highly exciting. Do, 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 do. Put the pads on. Try to keep the same length. Remember the location. You will forget. Remember where they go. Typically, they go over the little chips you'll see on the main board there. And you're just basically covering the chips to keep the heat from the, you know, spreading and heating up that metal. Checking, checking, blah, blah, blah. Really overthinking it here. Really overthinking it. All right. Yeah. I'm not big. Again, I don't like these 3070 Ti's. I don't know. I bought one. I think I just, I, again, I did use a retail bot to get some of these cards at the heyday. And that one just popped up. And I said, what the hell? I got it. I had another one. I think I did sell it, which I was surprised it sold. And then I found out this one man, this one retail shop was begging for them. So I should have held them because they were paying top dollar. They had to fulfill an order. No, they didn't have any. But um, yeah, I, I, guys, if you're in trouble getting GPUs at market price, MSRP, get get on a retail bot, get a Stellar, a Nova or something. You'll pay for that. But if you're going to get a lot of GPUs, it's a good way to go. And you can buy gaming consoles too at, at MSRP and flip them locally or sell them to a middleman and get a couple hundred bucks per console you know you sell 10 boom you know there's what two thousand bucks is that right two hundred dollars a time yeah two thousand buck profit just by getting gpus or gaming consoles shipped to you and flip them out to fedex and some of these middlemen will pay for the shipping label insurance so if fedex loses it you'll still get paid it's not, it's not a bad deal all you're doing is just covering your costs of your bot and all that crap. Anyway, enough of that crap. I don't want to get into the retail bots. I have not used one in months. I'm thinking about getting back into it, but not right now. Uh, let's see. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Thermal pad, thermal pad. Checking again. Again, three millimeters. I don't need the calipers. I could have just taken the new pads I had to put them next to them and see which the thickness matches. So, again, I did waste a couple bucks on the calipers, just because I like toys. Do, 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 do. Cutting out the pads, cutting out the pads. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Uh, just lining up. And those uh, new um, thermal pads on both sides have plastic. Uh, what do you call it? Oh, my God, help me. Plastic covering just to protect, you know, the adhesion and that. So you peel the one side off, put put it in place, and then when you're ready to piece these puppies together, you got to make sure you peel the other plastic covering off too, so they stick. Otherwise, they may melt. I guess yeah, if you leave the plastic covering on these thermal pads, uh, it might just melt. I don't know if it catch fire, but it might melt. I'm sure it'll melt, and you'll smell it. Like what the heck is that? Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm again. I'm a little OCD retentive here. I double check, double check. And I'm actually thinking, do I need to replace these pads? I just really want to replace the paste on the chip and get this puppy back installed in mining. So I'm debating. I'm doing I am there. Oh, shoot. I already paid for this crap. Let's just put on the pads. I do not see ever doing this again unless I really get above 104 temps on a card. 
it's just it's just a time suck and uh sometimes it just doesn't work some cards you do this to it doesn't make a damn difference at all they'll still burn hot in the, on the memory so i don't know why that is but i will say this one it seems to have dropped a little bit i'm gonna cut to the chase and like right now i'm seeing 96 celsius on the mem i'll see it spike to 102 and maybe a 104 again but not as bad as it has in the past before i made this change before I made the change, it was consistently in the red on T-Rex Minor, like 102 plus. And that made me nervous. I was, what the heck is going on? I want to burn this card out in under a year. Try to get some money out of this thing. Um, but there was no overheat marks or anything on this thing. When you take it apart, it looks brand new. Once you, once you wipe her down, clean it, it looks sweet. There's no burn. Like I said, overheat, melting, nothing's bent out of shape. It looks fine. Maybe it just runs hot. I don't know. Here I'm gonna do my little swirly motion. That's my little trick. Start from the center and work your way out in a circle. Swirl, 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 swirl. And then I just keep gobbing a crap on because I did learn one time on a 38T I didn't put enough on. I coated it with a nice thin layer. Did what your they say you should do. It wasn't enough. That GPU spiked to 110. I said, "Oh, shut it down, baby. Shut that, shut that puppy down." Ripped it apart in under five minutes and put enough paste back on. Slapped it together and I've not seen over a hundred since then so it, it led to me leave a lot of these high temps are really just that chip right there where i'm working and having enough thermal paste on it the thermal pads typically seem fine uh it's just when you do take the thing apart you're putting a little damage on them because they're you're ripping them apart from the two pieces because they are pressed together uh like a sandwich you know a sandwich a sandwich 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 so that you are pretty much to add the extra paste like I'm doing here, you're pretty much damaging the thermal pads to get to the base. So why not replace what you have? And if they're not damaged, I I don't know. My my experience is you could keep the same pads and it's not gonna affect it. Unless they're damaged, again, like they're, again, if they're ripped or damaged or not covering the chips correctly, yeah, you're gonna, uh, you're gonna get heat leakage. Think of the uh, shuttle coming back in with a hole in it and, it, and the thermal pads. The, uh, what do you call it, heat pads? Uh, had a hole in them, boom, it's just gonna seep through there and, and then affect the rest of the card. It won't detonate like this shuttle, but it's just gonna have heat go through the whole card. When the thermal pads can block it, make sure you have the thermal pad block and everything. All right. Oh, thank God this is 2x speed. This is so boring. All right. <laughs> uh, again, I stuck the uh, iPhone. That's an iPhone on a uh, mounted holder, iPhone holder. And it works pretty good on a stable surface. If I was on a moving surface, you'd be vibrating and the thing would be wobbling back and forth. And you all be getting seasick right now. Yeah, more thermal pads. Anyway, it's worth trying if you do have high temps mining uh, the memory temps. It's, it doesn't hurt popping one apart, trying it, and taking your time. You really can't mess it up unless you're a total idiot and rip it apart and get rough with it. You will rip some cables you know and if you forget to put all the thermal pads on and remove the plastic uh, protective coating yeah that's not good but uh yeah if you have half a brain and if you are in crypto if you're a crypto bastard like me you take your time you should have enough intelligence to do it right and not learn real quick and know what you did wrong and, and correct correct the behavior correct the problem just don't sit there and go to your safe space and cry like a baby fix it man up fix it Oh man, I was watching the Gray Show. Um, I delayed watching it. I watched the first three seasons of Yellowstone last year, and then now the I know four has been out for a while and finished. I just bought it. I said, "Oh my God, this is a perfect show, America," and it just shows you how you treat, how men should be act, how women should act. No, no BS living. None of this soy safe space crap you see today. These these uh, effeminate men. Uh, I don't know why the men are so effeminate today. They're like wimpy soy bodies and i don't know if it's in the water maybe there's too many uh, estrogen hormones in the water supply which they say they cannot remove hormones from the public water supply they can get all the other fecal crap out but you can't get out hormones that's why i use a distilling process through five filters when i drink my own make my own water i don't want to drink that crap it's kind of disgusting when you think about it i don't know yellowstone's a great show it just it's just the way it should be and i know um it's just there's obvious reason why it's going on today. It's it's 
diet, hormones, just these guys are so, I don't know, man. What happened to real men? But you watch Yellowstone, that's what it should be. It's a great show. It's worth 20 bucks, man. Buy it on Amazon. Watch it. Learn. And uh, don't cry about it. And don't, let your, don't become soy and run to your safe room. Like, oh, toxicity. Ugh. So sick of that crap. Yeah. There we go. Do, 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 do. There we go. Do, 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 do. Put the screws. What am I doing? I have no idea. I lost track of what I was doing. Oh, I put the back plate back on. Put the screws back in. Then it gets real ugly here in a minute. I take the damn fans off. <laughs> you, have to, you have to have the right screwdrivers, and I don't. But I make it work. I make her work, baby. You know the secret to being an entrepreneur? Not that I am, but the secret to being successful. And maybe an entrepreneur is solving people's problems. Solving a problem. Having problem-solving skills. If you're in a bind or you have an issue, even troubleshooting and problem solving you'll do fine you can go be a software guy or something like that but then again you're working for some some scummy boss or some 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 business you hate because most companies suck today working at companies is just toxic people are evil i just i never liked anybody i worked with they're not your friends and the stupid companies that push this company culture oh we're all family yeah well when they lay you off because there's no contract are they going to pay your mortgage and invite you to Thanksgiving? No, they don't give a crap. It's all BS. Don't fall for it. You are more valuable to them than they are to you because they need you to do the work. So I would just say freelance, anything you can do as much as possible. Freelance, freelance, freelance. Uh, it's not worth being an employee. A paycheck is a job. A job means just over broke. Whereas if you're freelance, you can build your network up. You have freedom to work when you want, do what you want, not... Be here at 8 a.m. We're going to have a stupid stand-up meeting and talk about our feelings. It's like, no, I'm not going to talk about my feelings. I'm going to get stuff done. No fluff, just stuff. I'm on a rant. I am so sick of the IT. So I hate saying IT because IT to me is supporting the engineers. IT to me is the guys that set your accounts up, set your let you have access to this and that system admin type stuff. Not even that, but just, I don't know. I think that's a wrong term. It's always been software engineering, people that do the work, the end of the research, and get build stuff. That's what I do, not IT information technology. I think that's a horrible term. Uh, even engineering is kind of pushing it, but you are creating. You're almost a software creator or a cut and paster, because the truth of software engineering is the ability to copy and paste from other sites, from other people, from Stack Overflow, and uh, that gives you 75% of the solution. The rest is fine-tuning what you copied and pasted into your code and tuning it to your mission, your application. And then that's why I think there's such bullshit in these tech interviews where they give you these stupid, I don't do it, I refuse, I think it's stupid, is coding test. If you're taking coding tests, you're part of the problem. Just say no. It's not worth it. A lot of CEOs say they don't, they would never take one, and but the companies give them. And some companies that started this that I know, people that work there, it's just a body shop company and the people that push these tests are idiots and the kind of diva people that don't know how to do or complete anything. They just sit there, uh, academic types at work and they're just waste of life and you do not want to work with people like that. You want to work with doers and people that get stuff done. So I'm going to get a little life lessons here from what I learned. You all may say, no, that's wrong. I'm going to be part of a family, soy, 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 and I want to be part of that culture. Hey, all good for you because... When they lay you off, you'll be crying in your safe space and no one's going to give a crap. But if you looked out for yourself and, you know, got into crypto mining, became a crypto bastard, became independent and made some revenue on your own, that's another stream of revenue that nobody can take away from you. And government can try. As we saw in Canada, they love freezing their citizens' accounts, man. That's scary right there. That is, except crypto, they couldn't freeze their wallets. But when you have government freezing people's money, that is not a good thing. That is a wake-up call, people. Do not trust banks. Do not trust the government. Oh, my God. That's scary. And I work for the government. I know. You do not want to trust the government. You want to meet the most idiot? If, next to cops, government employees are the worst people on earth. <laughs> All right. Let's keep going. Oh, I took the fans apart. There, I'm cleaning the fans. Cleaning the fins. Exciting. It didn't really work as great as I thought. But I uh, just wiped it down to get the hairballs out. 
Um, then I wiped the blades down. Da, 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 just wipe it down. This one was really wasn't that dirty. And I thought maybe if you clean those fins off on the heat sink, it would make a huge difference. Nah, it, it doesn't. I'm being truthful. It didn't make a goddamn difference. I think the biggest difference was putting that paste on that chip. Gobbing that, gobbing that slobber on there, baby. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm at the point now. I don't know what to do. I don't want to spend any more money on this, this uh, damn GPU stuff. I don't know if I should get back into retail body to get more. I don't know. I'm going to hold off. I'm just enjoying making money right now and holding. I'm not selling. I hold. And I'm uh, mining Ethereum completely. I was mining Ethereum to get Bitcoin on two miners because I want to build up my Bitcoin. Bitcoin is it. I hear these other YouTubers, um, crypto guys talking about, get your altcoin. Altcoin season. No, 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 no. From 20s. I've been in this crap since 2017. No. Don't fall for the, the I don't know, a grift. I, it's, Bitcoin is king. Bitcoin is the god go for the bitcoin ethereum i'll do because i can mine it but once it goes to proof of stake i'm out because i don't trust i think it's going to go to zero no one no one's going to pay these high fees or support it the miners are what are supporting or are they are the people the fanboys keeping ethereum popular because it makes people money once it goes to proof of stake i don't know i think it's going to people are going to lose interest it's going to be blah 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 yesterday's news and bitcoin will still be king you, know, you can go buy Litecoin like me and be uh, be down big. Uh, you can buy uh, all those other crappy coins out there, Dogecoin. You know, I got a couple bucks here and there. But again, Bitcoin, I'm comfortable with getting bags of Bitcoin. <laughs> and that's why I like two miners. You can mine Ethereum and get paid on Bitcoin right away and not wait for your stupid gas fee to get hit to get your payout. It could be weeks. Until you set like a like you can set a fifty dollar fifty guay fee GWI and it may not get hit for a couple of weeks and then Ethermine becomes this huge wallet of yours holding thousands of bucks that you mined and it's very scary because somebody can hack in there and steal all your stuff and it's just not good but I'll do it right now I am back now on Ethermine because I would just want to build up and get some more Ethereum just in case the thing goes back up to ten thousand which they think it may who knows. We'll see, but uh, I do like getting the Bitcoin. So I'm just beefing up Ethereum now, and then maybe I'll flip back to two miners and get that yummy Bitcoin. Because either way, if I get Ethereum or Bitcoin, I, if I go to Voyager, I will get paid interest on that Bitcoin that's on that on that wallet, in my uh, Voyager wallet. And I have links below. Do yourself a favor, sign up. I don't care if it's financial advice or not. It's not really, it's entertaining because people ping me on it. It's just my experience is that Voyager is awesome. You can sign up. I get a couple something, 20 bucks in Bitcoin. You get, I don't know, you get 20 bucks. I don't know. It changes every week. But do it. BlockFi, not so much. I'm a little irked with them. They keep changing. I don't know if they're always being sued or Jersey or someone in Jersey hates them. And Jersey's a communist state. So you got to watch out for anything out of Jersey. But apparently if you had interest, I had Bitcoin in an interest bearing account there with BlockFi. I thought this is great. Uh, first, if you had over a certain amount of Bitcoin, you would get less interest. I said, well, screw that. I went to Voyager where they don't play that stupid game. Now it's like if you had Bitcoin in an interest bearing account, you can no longer move Bitcoin into the interest bearing account. It's like they froze it in that you can, whatever you had in there, stay, it's, it can stay in there and get interest, but you can't add to it. And then I moved it out and they said, well, once you move it out, you can't put it back into your interest bearing account. I said, F you, you all suck. I moved it to my wallet, my hard wallet, and I said I'm done with BlockFi. I got their credit card yet, but I'm I'm just done with BlockFi. I just think they keep changing the goalpost, and it's like, you know, it's not worth it. Voyager doesn't do this, so why are you guys doing this? Yeah, I don't know. It just wasn't for me. I'm out, so I can no longer really endorse BlockFi anymore. Yeah, that's the truth. I'm just speaking truth, man. All right, based on my experience, not financial advice. All right. What am I doing? Putting the thing back together, cleaning the fans. I don't know. I'm trying to magnet. I'm an idiot. So I'm I'm not the brightest cupcake. I'm trying to magnetize the other screwdriver from the one that is magnetized because it's narrower. Oh, I dropped the screw. I'm. So, you want to see how not to do things? Watch me sometimes. I just went through a stupid moment here, and I'll get the screw out later. But um, I wanted to magnetize. I just got to put the damn screws and the fans back on. I should have just put the screws in the holes and put when I put the fans on. 
I, I was just getting tired. I just wanted to get the damn thing done. And then that's when you make mistakes. And you see me, I flipped the damn cover over there. Could have ripped the cable. Just got stupid here. So that's why I left this in here. Just showing how to be stupid. This is a lesson in that. And there is one screw under that middle fanny. I'm looking for it. But I'll use the magnetized screwdriver there and pull it out. And it, that thing is just, the diameter on that screwdriver is just too thick. And I want to break the blades. But I did use it to get the screw started and finished it off and tightened it up. Just a dumb move. I didn't think I had there. You get lazy and tired, you make mistakes. But I didn't break anything, and things working now. I do 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 I do do do. Bum, bum, bum. Fun with YouTube, baby. And again, why I make these YouTube videos, I don't care if people watch them or not. I do it just to record what I've done, because I will forget what I've done. Come uh, six months later, how did I replace the thermal pads? What did I do? And I'll just pop this video up. I go, oh, there you go. And I don't, I keep all my stuff on multiple platforms as well because I don't trust YouTube either. They seem to delete people's accounts for no reason. Just if you don't, if you say one word, their stupid algorithm will ban your channel for no reason. Now they do process or anything. Kind of very Orwellian, stupid in a way. And they're, they're a dying platform. YouTube is a dying platform. Uh, that's why Rumble, Odyssey, uh, what, there's other ones too. I forget. Oh, God. Blockfi? No, not, not Block. BitChute. I don't use BitChute. But uh, I have all my stuff on other channels as well, just as backup, because I don't want to keep every egg in one basket. When you see really popular YouTubes get ki YouTubers kicked off, you, you just say, what is going on? This is bullshit. So, yeah. Save your content. If you are a YouTuber, make videos. Get it on other platforms. I'll, you know, this stuff, YouTube is going to go the way of the dodo. If they keep with their uh, kind of censorship, it's authoritarian censorship based on a certain ideology, and it's kind of scary. It's kind of stupid, and uh, even a lady that runs it, lady, that's using, that's too polite. The communist that runs it is, she's just a nut, ideologically crazy. Um, yeah, they destroyed it when they bought YouTube from the company. They purchased YouTube, then they put their people in, and Wajiki is a related to the, uh, she's a sister-in-law of the Google owner one of the google owners so come on nepotism you know people that can't hire their relatives right and they who can and they ruin a good thing so that's me and my rant blah 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 now watch him boo i'll watch this channel will be deleted tomorrow because uh i i i what it truth to power <laughs> all right blah 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 here we go putting the fans back on this is way too long sorry guys this video is boring as crap that's why i'm ranting Oh, God, putting screws. Trying to figure it out. Again, I left this in here because I'm lazy. I don't want to freaking edit this thing down. I'd rather just talk over it. Do, 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 do. Yeah, right now, what are we doing? Let's do Coin360. We're showing Bitcoin as of 13 March, a month from tax season, where the government will take all your money and give it to people that don't deserve it. Uh, we are Bitcoin at 39,120. Ethereum is at 2,500. Yeah, look at that. What else is going on? So I'm looking at, I love my boy, man. The best YouTuber out there for crypto is that Brandon Coin guy. He's the best. I think he's the ultimate guy. The other ones, it's all right. Yeah, I get information from him. But the way Brandon has his stuff set up, it's just working. It's like stuff, not fluff. He's got, you know, it's just plugged in and working. It's not spending extra money on crap you don't need. Some of the other YouTubers have all this fancy stuff. And it's like, why? Why'd you spend 300 bucks on that when that's ridiculous? You don't need it. And But again, I realize some of these guys get this crap free. I don't get anything free because I'm just, I'm just a hobby guy. I don't, I don't, I don't have a, the big pool that the other guys have had. But yeah, I like his stuff. And he's talking about those arrives to this motherboards. I'm looking at them now for 155 on eBay, the BTC S37 Pro Mining motherboard for HEP riserless. Uh, it includes a CPU and, um, you need to get DDR3 SOD M memory and you get a SATA drive too, M SATA drive to stick on there. And you're good to go. I'm so sick of uh, risers um, hanging this stuff. It's just it's just an extra cumbersome thing. When I saw these riserless motherboards from China, I went, and I think they came out of these Octominer cases, right? That everybody seems to be getting for free to push. And uh, I didn't get anything free. But. Yeah, I look at those and said, that's the way you should do it. Cut out those damn risers. Those GPU risers and uh, 
the extra cable. Yeah, you cut down on a couple of cables too to power the riser. And the USB cable to the motherboard. Yeah, Man, that's a way to go. I'm going to maybe get one. I just hate spending money. Anyway, here we are. Let's wrap this Let's wrap this puppy up before I, you all just run out and start screaming. You can see I got 100 there. 98's good. It's still in the red. It's not perfect. Again, I did see it recently spike up to 102. I think it made a little bit of a difference, so it's not consistently in the red. You'll see it drop down below 100 eventually. So it's not the awesome, 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 awesome blossom stuff, the awesome results I expected. I uh, replaced in thermal pads and goblin on thermal paste. Yeah, but again, that's 98. I've not seen that in a long time on this 3070 Ti piece of crap. You know, um, it mines up 58, which is good. So it's not a total piece of crap. But you just got to wonder, why is this thing always so hot? Yeah, so it's cooking, it's cooking. So I think maybe, if anything, it's kept it so it's not consistently in the red temperature range for the memory. That's just my hunch. I'm an idiot. I went to public school, but that's my best guess. Yeah, if you have kids in public school, get them out, man. Homeschool. Public schools are driven by funds. Anyway, I'm enough of that crap. We are done. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Hope this made sense. Hope you enjoyed this. It was boring. Sorry about that. <laughs>